Welcome back to Foxwoods. Dave Bontempo, Ron Borges, and Vinny Paz with you as we get set for Chad Dawson and Willie Lee, Super Welterweight. Six rounds in our first bout of the evening. And Chad Dawson comes in here undefeated. He's 10-0 with six knockouts, and uh, a lot of people looking at him, Ron. Well, Dawson has been fighting as a super middleweight at 168 pounds, and uh, they really felt they should bring him down. But he's down to 158 pounds for this fight, and we're going to have to see how he makes the adjustment to that for that big drop off in weight. So let's see how he does coming down. Bad Chad Dawson shares his thoughts. My name's Chad Dawson, 20 years old, from New England, Connecticut. I got into boxing because my father was a professional fighter, and I was always hanging around the gym with him, so it became natural. The first thing I remember my father teaching me about boxing was the regular one-two. My style is the boxer slash puncher. I like to pick my opponent apart, control the tempo of the fight. My favorite puncher throw, straight left hand, right down the middle. I live like myself, maybe in two or three years, maybe being a world champion. Bad Chad Dawson sparred with you, Vinny Pazienza. What did uh, that look like? The bad Chad Dawson. I'll tell you what, we're opening up this card with the most talented fighter on on the card because Chad has a lot of ability. When he sparred with me, I said, you know, we got another young Roy Jones in the making here. That's how highly I thought of him. Has a lot of talent. Where he goes with it, I don't know because I'm not with him. You know, uh, I'm not with him at all. I don't know where he's going to go with it. I heard different stories about him. I hope he moves on and he could be a very, very good fighter. Uh, his opponent, Willie Lee from Gulfport, Mississippi, 10 and 1, with seven knockouts. So he goes on the road and has a tall order in front of him. But nonetheless, you have 10 and 0 versus 10 and 1, just coming from different circuits. Let's see how these guys shape up on the tail of the tape. Sponsored by Solid Plumbing in Connecticut. Dawson just 19, Lee is 23. Dawson has a three inch height advantage and a four inch reach advantage. Let's get the introductions. This fight is scheduled for six rounds in the junior middleweight division. The referee in charge of the action is Mr. Johnny Callis. The three judges scoring this ball ringside are Mr. George Smith, Steve Epstein, and Frank Lombardi. And now for the principals. First, fighting out of the red corner. This young fighter has won New England Prospect of the Year in both 2001 and 2002. He has an undefeated professional record of 10 wins. No defeat with six wins coming by the way of knockout. He wears the white trunks and hails from New Haven, Connecticut. Let's give a warm welcome to Connecticut's own Bad Chad Dawson. Next, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing the purple and white trunks. He weighed in at 158 pounds and comes all the way from Gulfport, Mississippi. He brings a professional record of 10 wins, just one defeat, with seven wins coming by the way of knockout. Please welcome Willie Lee. Lee. Six rounds in the junior middleweight division. protector okay all right okay chad willie you received your instructions in the dressing room i want you to protect yourself at all times above all obey my commands at, at all times first one right now touch them up when the bell rings come out fighting good luck to the both of you let's take a look at paz's point sponsored by camille's restaurant on historical federal hill in providence rhode island the biggest thing with chad dawson he's a southpaw very good boxer has a long jab He's going to use it against a shorter guy. This guy that he's fighting obviously can punch a little bit. He's got a good knockout percentage. And I think we're going to see a lot of talent from Chad Dawson tonight. I'm excited about this fight. And it's underway. Chad Dawson and Willie Lee. Two left handers. That's not what you'd actually like to see. You're making these matches. Chad Dawson and Willie Lee. Kink. 
tremendous development early is these rocks. He's carrying that right hand so low. Willie's letting it fly, and that's what he needs to do because I think Chad's the better boxer, but Willie has the power from what we're seeing right now. But Willie Lee has a pocket of opportunity right here. Yeah, hopefully he don't let this go by because if, if he lets this go, lets Chad get back in the game, uh, I don't think it's going to be good for Willie Lee. Hey, so if you're on the road and you score a knockdown early, you go for it right away. You have to. You have to. Whether you're on the road, whether you're at home, you hurt a guy, you take him out because you never know what can happen. <laughs> Doss is making a fatal mistake of backing straight up and dropping that right hand as he as he backs out. And you can see the road he is looking to land. Good right hook by Dawson. Keep him in front. See how he's popping straight back like that? Yeah. You're right. Luckily enough, he's got some, some height, so he can get out of the way of more punches. If he was a shorter guy, he wouldn't be able to do that at all. Right, step back, step back. And then come apart. First round brought to you by Mortgage Express of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. And we almost had an express knockout in this fight. Tremendous beginning. Oh, Willie's throwing the bomb. Willie's throwing it from Louisiana. I love that. He left nothing home. Oh. Willie Lee, 10 and 1 versus 10 and 0. He said at the beginning it's a battle of circuits. You know, sometimes you look at an area, you wonder. How yeah, good is the area the guy fought in? Right. Well, Willie Lee is going to answer those questions here. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> big shot by Dawson. That was a nice left hand. Dawson threw right down the middle. That's his favorite punch, that straight left hand, and he, he let it loose there. So we have had an explosive opening round. We've had Chad Dawson on the deck. Nice. And it's time for that gut check in his career. It is coming.
told him, don't let that affect you. You look good. You feel good. Tell me you feel good. I'll make him say it twice. Go out there and fight your fight, because this, guy, this guy's tailor-made for him. Fight's all about styles. This guy keeps coming in, and he's a shorter guy. This is, this is a tailor-made fight for Chad Dawson. But Willie's making it, making it a little hard for him, because he's catching him with sucker shots. He's hitting him with some big bombs. Chad shouldn't be getting hit by, by these, these shots. You know, he's, he's a very skilled fighter. Well, for two southpaws, there's a lot more action here than we normally would expect. That's a good point because we've seen so many fights where when you get the two southpaws, they both become stylists and they wait, but these guys are bombing. Chad just got nailed again. He's got to move. Made the same mistake he made in the first one. Yeah. He gets caught up into an aggressive flow of the fight and just lets the hands go. And then it's a crap shoot. And then when he retreats, he's straight back with his with that hand down and, and you can unload him. Willie Lee with a right hook that opens up. Nice punches by Willie Lee. You can be the best boxer in the world, but if you can't take a punch in this game, you need to find a new occupation. Day job would be a good idea. So we come to the end of round two. Entertaining battle. Willie Lee versus bad Chad Dawson. Coming to the end of round number two. Gym Health and Wellness Center in Tewksbury, and it's incredible. I've never seen so much cardio. They've done everything to improve your workout, like all new machines and a 30,000 square foot layout, with tons of free weights and dozens of aerobics classes. There's a women's only gym. And an all new boxing gym. World Gym even has a children's play area. World Gym has something for everyone with any type of body. World Gym Health and Wellness Center in Tewksbury is taking it to the next level. Why go for the gold when you can have the world? Championship Boxing on New England Sports Network. Brought to you by Tattoo Club and Body Piercing Company of Providence. Call 401-351-5483. Also by Boston Cigar Factory, South Boston, Massachusetts. To be reached on the web at www.bostoncigars.com. Concern there by Rick Dawson, Chad's father is in the corner. Looks pretty composed though, Vinny. He looks very composed. God, my father would be all over me. <laughs> Keep your damn hands up. That's all That's all a tough uh, situation with dads in there and their sons in the corner. A lot of times uh, you know, they either push them too hard or they don't push them enough. But in this case, uh, Rick Dawson seems to be just sort of measuring the situation and the support number staying out of it. Yeah, Rick seemed pretty cool to me. Good perspective came from uh, Shane Mosey's father, Jack, who said, you know, more father-son combinations in boxing would work if the fathers treated the sons like adults. The easier said than done sometimes, but when you break it down that way, if you have the respect, maybe you keep the emotion out of it and sure go on. So into round three we go. Lefties with power punching intent. Bad Chad Dawson from New Haven. 10-0, six knockouts. Willie Lee from Gulfport, Mississippi. 10-1 with seven knockouts and a knockdown to his credit early in the fight. I'll tell you what, you got to give credit to the promoter, Jimmy Birchfield, for putting this fight together. You've got two young guys, 10 wins, only one loss between the two of them. This is a good fight, and I'm surprised it was taken by either one of them. Good jab coming through by Willie Lee. Nice left hand getting through by Chad Dawson. There's some of the reach to his advantage. He followed that. I think Willie with the jab hurt a little bit by that. Hey, you know, she's just telling when they start dancing around with their hands, not shaking her head. Yeah, she has to do this. Sure. Shaking side to side, she'll be up and down. Dawson needs to stay composed here now. He's, he's starting to find a little distance, but he seems to. Yeah, he's got this amazing. Couple jabs slipping through by Dawson as he becomes more meticulous in his aggression. That's a close shot. Huh? time Dawson as he did on the knockdown but as he tried to time him just before he got caught he's still bombing away Dave this is still a dangerous fight for Chad Dawson Fortuna's break by Lee as the referee 
the way to win. A gratifying come from behind, spectacular knockout victory for Chad Dawson. Gratifying, Dave. Good word for that win. And there's all kinds of wins, but when you can get off the deck and do it, psychologically it counts twice. Sure, I mean, for Dawson, he was coming in this fight, he had lost the weight, he had things on his mind, certainly. Then he get dropped in the first round, it's easy to sit there and say, I never should have lost the 10 pounds, how can I win this fight? Instead, he gets up and he says, I know I can win the fight, and start throwing right hands and left hands. So the gut check is passed by Chad Dawson as he opened up here on Willie Lee. He loves that left hand. And he sensed from Willie Lee's actions that he was vulnerable, and there's the capper right there. Right. That left hand really, really it hurt him the first time and it finished him the second time. He just opened up. It, you know, that's the way you're supposed to take a guy out. You get a guy hurt, you just jump on him and just open up. And more, more, than, more than not, the referee will stop the fight. And in that case, he didn't have to because yeah. Willie Lee crashed down hard. The first time Willie was hurt, you know, when he went to clinch, instead of grabbing his arms, he grabbed him around the neck. You know, just sort of holding on. When you're in that position, Ron, it's not so easy <laughs> to pinpoint the guy's neck. But Chad Dawson scoring the victory in round three as they attend to Willie Lee. He saw an opening, and, and we were talking, Vinny, that he'd been showing his jab, but he knew when to abandon it and load up. He loaded up at the right time. You nail a guy with a big shot, you see him waver just a little bit, you just go in and jump on him. You know, sometimes you got to throw caution to the wind in this game. And some, it seemed like he picked up something about Willie Lee, though, in the second round that he was able to apply in round three. Chad Dawson was the better boxer. Willie Lee had a good punch, but I told you, the more the rounds went on, the more in favor it would go to Chad Dawson. It was really a, a, a good fight, great win. Great fight to start an opening card for us. Let's get the final numbers from Joey Birchfield. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, winner by knockout, two minutes and 38 seconds of the third round, Connecticut's own yeah. by Chad Dawson! By Chad Dawson! 11 and 0! Let's hear it for Willie Lee! Let's give it up for Willie Lee, ladies and gentlemen, all the way the best from kind of victory for Chad Dawson. Gets off the deck and then gets the victory as he's making his way over to 